I've been to Berlin many times before. I actually done the Fashion Week a couple of times before as well for like a lot of other designers like Patrick Moore and like Star Styling and all of those the people from before. Um, but no, this is like my fourth or fifth time coming to Berlin. It's a really nice place. Well, what I love about the Berlin Fashion Week is that all of the people besides like the, the besides the classic designers I guess here a lot of the other people seem to be very like innovative and very different and they're like trying to do different things and that's something that I really really love that Berlin was always about it's always about like like the like the 90s fresh new talent you know I think Berlin Fashion Week is starting to get popular and it should have been popular I think that Berlin fashion is like it's more accessible in a certain way and then when you go to like New York it's more exclusive it's more exclusive it's like more like yes you can go maybe you can't go kind of thing and also it's like I don't know I, I can see it I can see that being possible the highlight of fashion week was when I arrived at the uh, what show is this called fuck I think it's Guido Maria Kretschmer right him and arriving to his show, I had my scooter and I was arrived at his show. It was really nice. There's a lot of people there. And I think, yeah, that was pretty much it. And then definitely seeing this whole entire exhibition with my, my face everywhere. Well, I love the fact that it's like art, like everywhere. Because I look at myself like I'm art. Actually, I just actually just got my first piece of art on me, my first tattoo ever. But... I don't know, I just think that it's cool to like see myself like being like wearable, you know, wearable art. You know, I think it's really, really cool to see that. And I think it's really, really great that I now can see other people appreciate me as a, uh, as a, as a whole artistry in like a different way, more so than just like in the magazines and on TV, but like on your clothing. Yeah. You're like uh, working a long time with Nina together. Uh, tell us, how did you meet? How was that? I met Nina when I was 16 at uh, this very small fashion week in New York. It was called Brooklyn Fashion Week. Like no one really knew about it. And none of the designers actually wanted to pick me, but Nina was like, I'll pick him. And then, I don't know, I've been, with, I've been in contact with Nina ever since, since I was like 16. Break Nina room. booked me the show, but I modeled way before I met Nina. Okay. So, yeah, no, I, I was, I already like, I was already doing stuff before I met Nina, but it was, this is how this journey with me and her started. Okay. It was never my dream to be a model. I wanted to be a dancer. Okay. So it just fell in my lap and I just became this thing. It's just crazy. Yeah. You also trained uh, with the uh, Elvin Ailey company, right? Yeah, I trained with them for a little bit. I didn't make it to the company, but I, I trained with them for a while, like studying like ballet and Lester Horton technique and all of those different things. Okay. Um, like, so you're a dancer. Does this uh, this this fact help you, like, uh, on runway, for example? Totally, it helps you with a lot of things. It helps you with runway. It helps you with posing and pictures. It just helps, like, prime example, like a lot of people when they take a picture with like an action, a action photo where they're jumping in the sky, they like jump in the sky and they have like a really, a weird face, you know? But you have to know how to jump in the air and keep your face still the same, you know? So definitely dancing definitely teaches you that. Um, is there a difference for you between runway and photos? I mean, yeah, they're two different things. One's still, you're standing in one spot and the other one is quick and done and you're walking down a runway. So yeah, they're definitely, but I love runway though. I love performing. Okay. Um, so let's talk about like being different. I read a lot of interviews with you about like what you think about beauty. Like, um, can you tell me something about beauty and being different? What, how do you feel about that? Well, beauty to me, and I've been saying this to everybody, beauty to me is a, it's a preference mm -hmm. of what someone thinks. You know, I definitely think that beauty is something that You have to see what it is. But the cool thing about beauty is that if you're smart and you're very wise in the person, you can find it in just about anything. Mm -hmm. So like the message you want to spread the world, like does like social media helps you with that? Yeah. Social media allows me to like reach other people because a lot of kids today don't really read. They don't, you know, they just want to look at Instagram and they want to look at things that are quick. So I try to put things in a picture formation to show people like, yes, you can be something that society doesn't think is the norm and you can still be great and successful. Yeah. I love it. I think it's very supportive. The social media I get back I think is very supportive. And I really just love the fact of like to see how what what other people think about me. I really love that. It's very interesting to see different points of views. Some positive, some negative. So 
Winnie, I think it is cool. I mean, like, I've actually known of Winnie for a long time mm -hmm. because actually, so I, I found this picture on Instagram of Winnie and I posted her on my Instagram and then that was when Tyra went and found her on my Instagram and then now she's uh, everywhere now, Desigual, everything. So I think it's really cool to like see like her doing this whole like, like, like thing. Like I think it's cool, but is it a trend? I wouldn't say it's a trend. I think it's always been happening, even before me, you know, with people like Alec Weck and Stacey McKenzie, Grace Jones, you know, and, and, and then you have other people who have things like the gaps, like, you know, like Daphne, who has a, a big lips, and you have Laura Stone, who has a gap, and, you know, Kate Moss, and et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is it like, is it the model who's more important or the clothes, like on the runway? On Now it's the clothing, and I think the clothing should always be important, but But that's another reason why I like Berlin Fashion Week is that they kind of give the, they let them have attitude. And I think that back in the day when models used to go and walk on a runway, it's because they had attitude. They knew how to sell the clothing and it was fun. It was like, it's more so, it's not that I don't want the clothing, I want to be like her. So whatever she was wearing, you were going to get because you wanted to be like her. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should be a model to do that. I think you just definitely have to like, I think you definitely have to keep your body in shape, which I'm definitely lacking because I need to work out. But um, other than that, like, I think that, they're not for me, I don't think there are no, no, no specific rules or nothing like that. Okay. I don't really ever, like, like, I love the works of some people, like Meryl Streep and uh, uh, Morgan Freeman, Nelson Mandela. Like, I like, the, I like what they represent and what they stand for, and I love their, their power. But other than that, there's no one that I'm really, like, I super, super look up to, and I'm like, I, I idolize them. Okay. If I'm not doing anything, I love to just sit in the bed and be lazy and watch TV and eat loads of unhealthy foods and just probably go to sleep with my boyfriend or something like that, cuddle or something. That's what I love to do. Okay. I can, but I mean, I don't, I don't study anymore. Okay. I would love to, though. I would love to find the time.